Okay, everybody, so now we're gonna go over your ready stance or your hachi dutch. Hachi is the word eight, dutchi means stance. So we use it for our ready position in every direction, okay? Front of us, behind us, left, right, and all the angles. So how we do this is we cross our arms, a nice tight fist, clench, nice and strong. We bring our hands down really sharp and really fast, making sure that our arms snap down into position, okay? We always do it with a big key at because that lets our instructor know that we're ready for action. So again, you cross your arms, bring your hands down really fast with a big strong key at. Next, we're gonna do our Kiltscape. Kiltscape position means attention. So we're gonna bring our hands and feet together from our Hachi Dutch. We're gonna bring our hands and feet together. The left leg always steps in, okay? Never step in with the right leg. We wanna step in with the left leg. The reason why is because martial arts is just like, the, mar the word martial means military. So we wanna make sure that everybody's moving the same direction. So when you're in your Hachi Dutch, your left leg moves together. Hands and feet come together and hands slap at the side of your leg, okay? And that's kilt game. So bring your hands and feet together, just like a soldier. In the martial arts tradition, it is a good sign of respect to bow. And we bow a lot in the karate school. We bow when you first walk into the dojo, and we bow when you uh, bow to other black belts or higher ranks, we bow to, uh, to get onto the mat, we bow to say please and thank you, uh, we bow to get off of the mat too. So. We want to make sure that we're, we're doing the bow correctly. A lot of times we see beginner students and they're not really learning the concept of the bow and bowing with their head like this, okay? This bow is not a very respectful bow and, um, and it's mostly reserved for the upper ranks. We're talking like fourth degree level and higher. So when a lower rank bows deeply to the upper ranks, the upper ranks reply with a nod. But that's because they've been doing it for so long and they've earned the right and the privilege to be able to do that. However, when the upper ranks bow to higher ranks above them, they give them a nice deep courtesy bow. So now we're gonna go over the courtesy bow. So from your Hachi Dutch, you bring your left leg into your right leg, hands and feet together, smacking up against your legs, and bending at the waist, keeping your eyes forward, the top of your head straight. You're just gonna bow in one single unison, keeping your eyes forward, and then coming right back up. You wanna bow at a good 45 degree angle here. This way, okay? Any lower and it's too far. Not enough, that's not enough. We wanna make sure we bow at a nice 45 degree angle and then come right up, all right? And that's how you do the courtesy bow.